Robert. Hey guys, I'm Robert Wall. I'm a professional cliff jumper. I've traveled all around the world jumping some of the most scenic locations. And for this, we're in the Pacific Northwest, pushing myself to the limit. Morning. It's about 8 o'clock right now. Just cruising down to one of the most gorgeous waterfalls. It's a little overcast today, so it might be a tad chilly when we're swimming around there in the morning, but it's gonna be a good day. It's a pretty big one, so definitely kind of got some butterflies today. Getting all my gear ready for this waterfall, and let's see, I'm gonna bring a little bit of rope just in case I wanna rappel down. People only see the five second shot and they might just think like, oh, we saw this cliff, ran up there and just sent it and it was just like rowdy and everyone was like stoked about it. But there's a whole day of planning that goes in behind that. Cliff jumping is very dangerous, but there's ways to be safe about it. It's pretty insane. It honestly looks really good. Basically, we're gonna try to like go to that left part of the pool where it looks like there's a lot less water, it's a little calmer and Evaluate all that, make sure it's deep, and then kind of just start working our way up. But, dude, it's so insane. Like, I've never seen blue colors like this anywhere but this river. It's pretty nuts. One of my favorite places just to go hang out and swim around on the bottom, and then the added cliff jumping on top of it is just like, it's so sick. It's so crazy to look up and just see this giant 75-foot waterfall of blue Gatorade water. It's one of the most clear spots I've ever seen. up close and personal. Not a lot of people get to be back in these spots that we get to, and if it wasn't for cliff jumping, I probably wouldn't be here. The takeoff is right above me, so I'm gonna hop in this part of the pool. I already swam over, it's pretty deep right here, but I wanna really get down to the bottom. Make sure there's a good safe zone down there. Go. All these different activities are always dangerous, but if you're smart about it, they become safe and it makes it a lot more fun. So just to get across this thing, to get to the side, we gotta jump at. You gotta do this rather peculiar log crossing. <laughs> it's not that fun, it's super slippery. And if you have a bunch of camera gear, it sucks because you don't want to fall in, but. The way across, you gotta do what you gotta do. How'd the depth check go? Oh, dude, it's insane down there. It's so sick. All right, I'm gonna try and set up a rappel for this shot. Gotta get my gear. Probably 30 foot section that's really deep, so I'm pumped, man. Now just looking back at the takeoff, I think everything's coming in. We're trying to beat this storm that might be rolling in, so I think it's pretty much go time. There is at least like a, a 10 to 12 foot gap to hit like the sweet spot from where we are. So it's one of those lines where you just back up full speed and you're like, I know where I gotta go, and you just run and just boost out and go for it. All right, Robert just gave me the signal, he's ready. Get it, Dan! Three, two, one! Woo nice, buddy! Oh my I was just like full chilling. Just, ah. Really look back at the waterfall and take it all in mid-jump, because you have a lot of time. You got like two seconds in the air. I can't believe I get to do this. <laughs> really caught in the moment right now. <laughs> just like incredible to be in this zone and get to jump this. Life's good, dude. So good.